and we'll start out tonight with our smooth game of the week brought to you by a long time Friday night football sponsor our friends at Smoothie King who do a great job for us each and every year and of course at the end of the year that's coming up we're going to name the smooth team of the year and we certainly had some candidates in the Caesar Superdome this weekend. Friday Night Football presented by the All-State Sugar Bowl. It's the St. James Wildcats against Union Parish for the Division III non-select championship. Hey, Coach. right off the bat, first series of down. Union's quarterback, Jordan Hill, 56 yards, untouched, in the end zone. Young man's got good speed. He showed it all night. I thought this was big. St. James getting on the perimeter against them, and they started to wear him out a little bit because he had guys playing both ways, Coach. Braden Williams swing pass to Colby Brown. And after that missed tackle, there's nobody home. He's going 73 yards. So a quick answer by the Wildcats. And they would score again. Williams wasn't finished. Williams with a 30-yard touchdown run coming up right here. And that's going to give St. James the lead. Nice play. Splits the secondary in the end zone. St. James has a lead early. So it was a wild second half. Let's go to the third quarter. And Jordan Hill had a very good game for Union Parish with the fake. And he's around the end and dives in. Six-yard touchdown, 28-20 at that point. Fourth quarter, St. James is going to respond. Quarterback Braden Williams to Trenton Easter for the 35-yard pass. Wildcats pull within two. And now they're going to line up. They elect go for, go two. for yep. two right here. Williams now this time gets the snap, makes the play fake. He's going to have Zekquan Eklund. Back of the end zone. Great catch. Big catch right at the border of the end zone. Puts him into control. All right, so it's tied at 28. And Union Parish throws it down the field. And that's a mistake because Gary White playing center field was waiting on it with the pick. And then St. James would capitalize. Britton Brumfield with a great cut. Runs through a hand and arm tackle. And he's in. For the touchdown, 17 yards, 35-28. Union James Parish with the ball. They've got it fourth and four for the Farmers. Here they're going to try to give it to Jamarin Island. He's going to get stopped short by Adrian Piran. Turnovers on down. St. James, big play for the defense. But then the Farmers did this. About a minute to play Jordan Hill to Tamario Bilberry. That's a big play, 19 yards to the Wildcat nine. Seconds later... They give it to Island, and they didn't have a lot of time left on the clock, Coach, when they did this, which was a gutsy call. They reviewed it. He got over. It's a touchdown, 35-34. So they elect to go for two, and they run to the right, Coach, and this thing is wide open, which was a little bit of a surprise here. Great cut by the runner, and he's in for the touchdown, and that is... We're going to see the game winner. Yep. St. James is going to try to make a little last ditch effort here, but Bill Berry, who had a nice game offensively, is going to step right in front of this one with the interception coming up, and Union Parish goes on to win it 36 35 after that two point conversion. Just a heartbreaker for St. James to lose in the final 11 seconds 36 35, the four over the three to claim the Division Three non-select state championship. Our Jefferson Parish scores all season long. Brought to you by Grunman's. They supply the Senior Bowl with all of their athletic surprise. Grunman, family owned and operated. You can shop where the coaches shop at Grunman's. Here is Jared Paul Joseph. The Division Three non-select state championship game ends the same way it begins, with Union Parish dominating St. James with its ground attack. The Farmers rack up 125 rushing yards in the first quarter, and the Wildcats cannot stop the Farmers for the rest of the game. Union Parish finishes with 329 yards on the ground, making up most of its 400-yard offensive output en route to a one-point win over the Wildcats thanks to a two-point conversion. I think they took advantage of our alignment sometime. They did a few different things. Uh, they based out on the end some time and wrapped up. In the times we didn't squeeze and spill, they were able to hit us in some gaps. I think we had opportunities to get off the field a couple times, and we didn't. They ran a midline play that it didn't show. Uh, but other than that, they were who they were. Just switched up the blocking schemes a little bit. Uh, I think we adjusted somewhere, got some stops when needed. 
We just didn't come up uh, with victory tonight. The Wildcats also have success running the football. St. James finishes the game with 229 yards on the ground, most of which coming from its game MVP, senior quarterback Braden Williams, who racks up 95 yards on the ground, 164 yards through the air, and three total touchdowns. It, was, it got the job done, but it felt kind of short. But overall, I feel like as a team, I feel like we played well. They just came up one play. One play more successful than we did, I feel like. No, I think it's the resiliency of the whole program because uh, we very well could have tapped out defensively, but we went and made some adjustments and continued to fight and gave our offense an opportunity to go get in the end zone, which we did. Uh, you look at it, we were up to close the game out, right? We had an opportunity to win, but it, it's opportunities like this. If you don't take advantage of the little things and you get them an opportunity back to get the ball, they took advantage of it. Now, of course, St. James wants to get back to the mountaintop and next time walk away with their state championship. But now, two River Parish schools have gone 0-2 in the Dome, leaving St. Charles Catholic with both the weight of the parishes and the New Orleans area on its shoulders. Reporting from the Dome for your Friday Night Football, Ed Coach, back to you too.